Well, hey friends, welcome back to my homesick kitchen. Today we are going to be making some bone broth in the Instant Pot. You can do it on the stove top, but I find it's just easiest on um, with our Instant Pot. So I've got some chicken bones here. You can use beef bones or chicken bones. Today I'm gonna be making um, it with chicken carcasses. Now, I have not bought chicken or beef broth in at least a year, maybe even longer. Um, so normally when we eat whole chickens, I just save the carcasses into bags and just stick them in the freezer for when we're ready to make bone broth because we don't really eat soups and stuff during the summer. It's too hot, obviously. So I like to save them because I don't have storage space to store bone broth after I make it. So I've got my Instant Pot here. I've got some chicken carcasses. Also when we eat like um, barbecue chicken drumsticks or something, I'll throw the bones in here and I just keep them in the freezer and collect them until I'm ready to make a batch. Now I have a smaller Instant Pot, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit all this in here. So I'm just going to put it all frozen in there. Let's see if both of these fit. cooks it will definitely cook down and fall apart um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my lid on here now you can just leave it at this or you can add some veggie scraps so I have some carrot tops in here that I have peeled from our garden and then also the onions are not from our garden but I just keep like the onion skins and like some of the layers of the onions in here so I just um, throw these in the freezer again until I'm ready to make bone broth also, celery tops are really great for this. It makes a really flavorful broth. I don't have any in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. So I've got it all in there. It looks like a ton, but because it's all frozen in chunks, it's like mostly here at the top. So I'm just gonna take some of my filtered water and I'm gonna fill it up to the max uh, pressure cooker line. Kind of making a mess here. So here's my max line, I still have a little ways to go. So I'm gonna add some more. Now you can just leave it as is or you can add some seasoning. So I am going to add I'm gonna add some turmeric. Turmeric is really good for you. It'll give your broth a really nice golden color and also has a lot of really good properties like anti-inflammatory. It'll add a really nice taste. Now, this is all completely optional. I'm also gonna add some garlic, some pepper. I'm gonna add some bay leaves. About three of them, three small ones. You can add whatever seasonings and stuff you want. Um, I'm also going to do some salt. Just a little bit, I'm not gonna salt it too much because I like to salt my soup and taste it and I don't know, I'm really bad at judging salt. Okay, so now that we've got this all in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. So you wanna cook this for a very long time. I usually do about three hours on here, which is why I love doing it in the Instant Pot because you can just turn it on and forget it, whereas if I do it on the stove top, I literally just let it simmer all day. You want it to cook a long time so that way you can pull all of that collagen out and just really get all those nutrients from the bones. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this for three hours. Actually, three and a half hours because that was in the last setting of my um, my Instant Pot when I push the button for broth because it has a memory and keeps like the last time that you had. So I'm gonna do three and a half hours. So I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'll come back and check on it um, later on this evening. We're not gonna have the soup till tomorrow. Um, so we want to just let the pressure come down naturally and it's gonna be on warm so you don't have to take care of it right away. It's gonna keep it warm and I'm just gonna let it cool and just kind of sit there and I'll bring you back um, when it's all done. So it has been almost an hour and a half since this has been finished. It is four o'clock. I think I started this a little bit after 10. So because everything was so frozen, it took a while for it to come to pressure, but it obviously, um, there's no pressure now, so I can go ahead and open it. And it smells really good from what I can smell. 
It looks beautiful. I'll bring you in and show you. Look at how beautiful golden that is. So I just have this fine strainer I'm gonna put over here. And I would, this is my biggest pot. Um, I would just do it in here, but I know that there's gonna be more in there. So I'm just gonna do it in this big pot first. So my kids were fighting in the background, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover here. But I was trying to pour it very carefully without splashing and getting this turmeric on my new countertop, which I did a few times. So I wanted to wipe it up really quickly. That way it wouldn't stain. I don't know if it will, but I just wanted to take extra precautions just in case. So I kept trying it and kept spilling, even though I was being very careful. So I decided to go ahead and just do it in the sink. Look at that gorgeous bone broth. So there is a layer of grease on the top, so I'm gonna let this um, sit in the fridge and then it'll be easier to clean off. I'm going to go ahead and divide it out so I can measure it, because my big pot is not gonna fit in my refrigerator. like I got about um, eight and four so about 12 cups you can see the layer of grease on the top so once this sits in the fridge it'll solidify and then I'll really easily be able to pull it off and I'll probably use about half of it for tomorrow and I'll stick the other half in the freezer for next week so I'm just gonna let this cool here because I don't want to put this really hot into the refrigerator and then I'll put lids in and stick it in the fridge. I'll take it back out tomorrow and show you what it looks like. So I just want to show you the whole chickens. I usually check Smith's for their reduced section. So this was marked down to 89 cents a pound. And I'm not sure, oh, I guess it looks like about six pounds, almost six pounds. Um, so I always check, and because it's usually the sell-by date is like really close, so I just throw it in the freezer. So this is one that I pulled out, and I'm just gonna go ahead and thaw this. And this is the cheapest way to eat chicken because here you can see this is a little over $5. I cook this up in my Instant Pot, and then we pick the chicken off, we eat some of it, like with mashed potatoes or roasted potatoes or something, so like that's a meal. And then I pick off the rest of the chicken and that's enough to make another meal, um, like shredded tacos or you know something like that. So I usually get two meals off the meat, maybe three if we eat some leftovers or something. And then I just throw the bones in the freezer. So this right here, for a little over $5, we can get two meals plus bone broth out of this for soup. And you can pick off the chicken and use that in soup. That's really good too. So I just wanted to show you because this is a really cheap, economical way to get your chicken and then you can make bone broth out of it. So it is the next day and I'm just about ready to get dinner ready, so that's why I took it out. You can see it's like a neon greenish yellow, that's because of the turmeric in there, but you can see it has nicely solidified, so you can just easily take a fork. Now sometimes it'll just harden completely on here and it'll be really easy to take off. So I've gotten a majority of it off. It's fine to leave it, I've known people to do that, but to me it's just a little too greasy. But as you can see, it's not quite liquid. It's like gel gelatinous, and that is because you have all that good collagen in there. And um, the longer you cook it, the more bones you have, the stronger it is, um, the more gelatin or gelatinous, gelatin-like that it will be, and that's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this eight cups into my stock pot, because this is what is going to be for dinner tonight. You can see those nice little clumps. Okay, I'm gonna scrape that. Okay. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna freeze in this container. I don't like using plastic. I have broken lots of canning jars by freezing broth in them. Um, so I don't like to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here. put 
the lid on this and stick this in the freezer. This is four cups here, so I have a recipe for chicken soup. Not the one I'm making tonight. This is gonna be a little bit different. Um, that calls for four cups, so I know that next time I go to make it, I'll just use it. Um, and that's all there is to making bone broth. You can do this with chicken bones or beef bones. I've also done it with um, turkey bones like after Thanksgiving and that's also a really great treat. Now one thing to keep in mind about this is not gonna be as flavorful as say like better than bouillon cubes or some of the stuff you buy at the store because there is no um, MSG in here. There's no natural flavoring in here. Those have a lot of added stuff in them to make them really yummy and really flavorful. Here we're going for dense nutrition. We're going for this gut healing, all the collagen rich, everything in those bones that is just gonna really be nourishing for you. Now definitely add salt, add herbs, add spices, add seasonings. So that way you can just customize your soup however you'd like. It's been a very long time since I bought chicken broth at the store. So to me, this is super flavorful. I just season it as I do when I do my soups and it comes out really good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful on how to make bone broth and I hope you guys give it a try. If you found it helpful and liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.